Hey Flight Simmers, welcome back to another new video. Uh, this time around I'm going to show you guys a 787 mod for the Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, similar to the A32NX uh, modification for the default A320 Neo. Uh, they've just added a few things to this mod. Uh, I'm going to show you those things and then I'm going to show you how to install it. Inside the cockpit uh, at the moment, uh, the mod modifications they've made uh, are only a few but they've added the door ecamm page uh, as well as the gear one uh, so for the time being it's uh, there's not too many changes it's a small team uh, but uh, I'm sure it's gonna grow I'll provide the link all the links uh, for the uh, mod in the description down below okay once you uh, have clicked the link that I provide down in the description down below It'll take you to this page, this this uh, where you'll download the uh, 787 mod. So all you have to do is uh, click on code, download as zip. I have already done that. Uh, then once you have unzipped it, you'll have uh, you can click inside the folder. You have this folder here. All right, you'll see that it has this inside. So we're gonna want to copy this folder. And then you're going to want to go to your uh, root uh, installation folder that you have uh, installed Flight Simulator 2020. So that can be uh, different for for a lot of users. If you've purchased it through the Microsoft Store, it'll be a different location. If you install it through Steam, it'll be another location. And then it also depends if you install it through the default installation uh, path and, and not a custom one. In my case, I purchased the Flight Sim through Microsoft Store and I do not have a custom install location. I chose the default path. I'll provide that path and the other possible paths in the description down below. So for the Microsoft Store purchase and default uh, location path. So it's a very similar process uh, to the other videos I have uh, made on the channel with the A320 mod and the liveries. You're going to want to go to this path. Uh, you want to go to uh, users, then your username, app data, local, then packages, then your Microsoft folder, Microsoft Flight Simulator folder, that is, local cache, packages. And then once we're here, we'll see the community and official folder. We're, we're going to click on that community folder. If that community folder does not exist, you can create it. Once we're here, we'll uh, have it already pasted, but you're going to want to paste the 787 uh, XE folder that we copied before and that's it that's there's nothing else that you have to do you can relaunch the sim and the mod should be working you can check that by checking that the uh, ecamm pages that have been added the gear one and the doors are uh working anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the 787 mod uh if you're willing to help out on the 787 mod they have a discord channel I'll provide that link, uh, the invite link to the Discord channel in the description down below as well. So if you're uh, having any trouble, you can uh, comment down in the uh, in the Discord channel and they should help you out there as well. I'll help out any way as I can as well. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for uh, future content. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, please share it. Anyways, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.